Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new on my channel then welcome. Today's video is mainly about the Be Perfect Carnival palette. Um, this is in collaboration with Stacey Marie and uh, gosh guys, this palette is absolutely amazing. I just I do not have the words. I haven't played around with all of the shades in here, obviously. <laughs> I just recently got this, but um, the shades that I have played with, they are just absolutely spectacular. I have never worked with such amazing shadows before. They are really pigmented, but they are really easy to blend. There is very, very minimal fallout, which is crazy to me normally if you have very pigmented shadows it tends to be the case that they also have quite a lot of fallout but in this case mm -mm. that's the main part but i did dip into my holy grail jaclyn hill and morphe palette as well just because there aren't any deep deep brown or like black ish shadows in the Stacey Marie and Be Perfect palette oh oh, oh, oh. before i forget i also wanted to say i don't know if you guys can tell but I got a ring light for Christmas this year. I got it from my auntie and I am so, so, so incredibly happy because I think it just, it just, I don't know, it just kind of amped up the lighting and the whole look. If you are looking at my video and thinking that the lighting is a bit different, then that's why. But I'm gonna stop talking now because you guys know I could be here until tomorrow and just keep talking your ear off. Um, but if you guys wanna see how to get this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so let's get into this. I have already prepped my eyes and my face, as is the norm in my tutorials, and now we are going to crack this little thing up. Uh, uh, the whole color scheme of this is just, uh, it's been so excited. But today we are not going to get into all of these beautiful, colorful ones. We are going to be doing a very glam look for New Year's Eve. So the color that I'm going to dip into first is called Basic. And as always, I'm just going to start buffing this into my crease. Well, actually, in my case, I'm taking the color above the crease because I'm trying to make my eyes look bigger. That requires me to take the colors higher up because of my hooded eyelids. As I always say in my tutorials, if you do not have hooded eyelids, then you do not need to take the colors that high up. You can follow your natural crease if you want to. You can take them lower or even higher. It really depends on what you want to do. Um, I'm just doing what is the most flattering for my specific eye shape. Next up, I'm taking the shade Rowdy, and this will go pretty much in the same place as the first shade went. It's just going a bit lower, and I'm also buffing it into the outer V and in my inner corners ever so slightly. Next I'm going to dip into one of my all-time favorite palettes, the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. And I'm taking the shade Central Park and I'm going to start buffing that in the crease and the outer V and inner corner as well. And with these darker shades, you want to build up the intensity step by step. You don't want to just go in and dab a whole lot of pigment on your eye and start blending that way. You want to keep adding the color by layers and then gradually just building up the opacity of the shade. And as I'm blending the edges, I am barely pushing down on the brush because I don't want the whole situation to become really muddy and messy. I just want to buff the edges really lightly. Okay, so next up we're going to clean up the space on my eyelid. And for that, I am of course turning to my absolute favorite. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Vanilla and I'm going to carve out the middle part of my lid but only the middle part and I'm just buffing the edges into the inner corner and the outer corner. Now that we have a very very rough shape carved out with the concealer I'm going back into the shade Central Park, that deep brown that we used and I'm going over the outermost edges of that concealer and taking a teeny tiny clean brush I'm buffing over the edges of that line that I just put down. Next I'm going back to the Stacey Marie palette and I'm taking again the shade Rowdy and I'm very very lightly putting it next to that dark dark brown that we have down. That rhymed. 
And now I'm jumping back to the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. I know it's a lot of going back and forth, but that's just <laughs> that's just how it is for the look. So taking the shade Meeks, I'm buffing that again on the outer edges of that concealed area. And finally, we get to the star of the show, and that is the shade Hustle. We are going to put that in the middle of that whole concealed area that we've been working towards this whole time. And you want to make sure that you buff the edges of these shades into each other. And now before cleaning up the edges and getting rid of the small fallout, I'm also going to just very, very lightly dab all over the edges of the whole look because I want to make sure that everything is as intense in pigment as it possibly could be. So yeah, I'm going back into the shade Central Park. And now I'm going to clean up this mess. I'm going to put on some falsies. I'm also going to do the rest of my face off camera and then I will jump back in here to finish up the lower lash line. You guys already know how this whole thing goes, so I don't even know why I'm saying it to you, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so this is the look so far with everything cleaned up and the rest of the face done. First off, I'm going to, again, dip into the shade Basic that we used as the first shade in the crease as well. And I'm just going to buff that all over my lower lash line. Now that we've done that, I'm taking the shade Rowdy. I'm just going in the same order that I went in when I was doing the top lid. Um, and I'm again running that all over my lower lash line, buffing it into the lashes as well. And lastly, I am taking the shade Central Park from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette and I am buffing that into my lower lashes as close to the waterline as I possibly can. Now for the inner corner highlight, I am taking the highlighting shade from the Carnival palette and this is in the shade Sinner. I'm also taking a teeny tiny bit of the shade Moony and I'm putting that on top of that because I want to brighten up the inner corner highlight a bit. And now I'm just going to run some mascara on my bottom lashes as well and we can move on to lips. And for lips, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette and I'm mixing together the shades number 6, number 13 and primary 3. As the last thing, I'm also going to spray some MAC Fix Plus on my face and then, because we want the makeup look to last all night long, we're going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this was it. This was the New Year's Eve tutorial that we did for this year. <laughs> of course, you can alter the look to your specific needs or wants if you'd like to. It's really up to you. You can make this look even more extra if you add some glitter in the middle. I just didn't want to do that because I wanted to let the shade shine on its own because I think it is such such a breathtaking color. And of course, if you want to tone it down a bit and not make it as intense, then you can skip the red lip and use a nude instead or do something like that. That was it guys and this is also the last video and the last tutorial of this year. I cannot believe how quickly 2018 has flown by. This year was extremely special for me and I just really want to thank each and every one of you because this year I hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm already halfway to 2,000 subscribers which is like mind-boggling to me because I just hit 1,000 and that seemed like, I don't know, um, like the biggest thing in the world for me and now it's like, I don't, I don't even know. What I want to say in my rambling sort of uh, speech <laughs> is that I'm so so grateful for each and every one of you for watching my videos for leaving absolutely adorable comments for liking my videos for giving me suggestions and and for giving me constructive criticism everything that helps me make my videos even better and create the content that you want to see so yeah I am I'm just really happy that you're with me on this journey and we're just exploring and getting better at makeup together and I think it's absolutely amazing. So yeah, thank you so much for sharing this with me and hopefully you will also be in my journey for the upcoming years. That's it, I'm not going to ramble on any longer. I hope you guys had an amazing year and I hope that you get an even more amazing 2019. If you enjoyed this New Year's Eve tutorial, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video next year. Bye!